Hello there, I'm David, I'm Good and Geeky and I'm looking at Tana. And in Tana I want to create a movie database. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start from the calendar. So let's say I'm going to watch a movie today and it's called The Glass Onion, which is our starting point. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a tag, which is going to become a super tag. So let's put the hashtag in there and I'm going to put in the tag of movie. And I'll do command and enter to create that. Now I've got that, the next thing to do is to go to this here and click on it and do configure. Now in configure, what we're looking forward here, this is going to be uh, my movie database. And uh, let's just move this out of the way. So let's have some fields in there. And I think what we're going to need is we're going to need the actors. Let's put one plain there. This is just going to be a plain text field. So I'll delete that my field there and I'm going to put in actors and do command and enter for that. Click on this plus button there, or a new field, whichever one. I think there's probably the best one to go there. And we'll go for another plain one, and we're going to um, put in the director, command and enter. Um, I'm going to want to know the date when I watch the movie, so let's do new field, and this time we want a date, and put on here the date of viewed, date, watched okay that'll do that and then i want to have the status of this here so let's go for new field again and this time i'll go for options so that's our status i need to do some work with this here and this options we can put the options in this bit here okay so we're going to turn these fields fields turn your tags into super tags i think that's what we're doing okay so options are going to be so the options that's correct there predetermined options is going to be uh watched on the list or you could put to be watched whatever you want to put in there okay so that'll do for that and then i'm going to say move to schema so this is our schema so we've got our status in here and we should get our values in there so you see we've got uh, possible values of uh, watched and on the list what else do we want we want to know where it was that we saw the movie so we can do this with another one there. We've got some options to choose from. So I'm just going to put where into this one here. So let's go for a new field. And it's going to be options. I'll just click on configure for the moment. And this will bring us over here. And here we're going to put in uh, where. And then we're going to go for the options. That's correct. Now we're going to say where the options are. So I might have watched it on Netflix. Okay, that's will do for now. I'm sure I can probably add more to that if needed. And then what I'm going to do with this here, I'm going to click on Move to Schema. And that is in there. So there is our options look. And I'm going to be able to choose whichever I want from these ones here. So let's see what we've got. Actors, directors. Oh, I need to give it a rating as well. So let's add the rating. We want options again. So we're going to put this in here. And we're going to say that it's going to be a rating. Rating, so that's our rating, and it's going to be uh, options again. And of the options, I want to have it um, five star. Okay, so that's uh, five uh, five star rating, one, three, and five. I could just do one, two, and three, really, but still, you know, move to schema. I keep getting a new schema at the top of here each time. It's Delete some of those out of the way so we can get, uh, keep an eye on what's going on here. Okay, so here's our movie schema. So we've got actors, director, date watched, status, where, and rating. Now every time we add this tag to a movie, we're going to get the um, all of these details here that we can fill in. So let's do that now. So um, let's uh, have a look at this glass onion one. I'm going to um, click on the down arrow. And as you can see, we've got all our stuff in there now. We've got our actors, directors, and everything else. So one of the actors is Daniel Craig. I don't know who the director is. Date watched. We haven't watched that yet. So the status is going to be chosen from a list. And it's on the list to be watched. Where? I think it's on Netflix. So let's put Netflix in there. And rating. Well, I can't give it a rating yet because I haven't watched it as yet. Now, if I want to uh, look at all these movies all together, then what I can do is I can click this here. Um, create a live search. So let's do that now. Create a live search. List of movie. I can change this uh, title here. So we're going to call this just movie database. So, so far in this movie database, all I've got in there is the glass onion. Okay, so what else we're going to put in there? Let's put another one in there. 
let's um, add avatar. And because I'm stowing it from this particular window here, I'm already getting this coming up already. Look, so that's cool. Uh, avatar 2. And what I can do is I can go to this here. So let's click on this one here. And I can go to the page for Avatar 2 and start putting the details in. So this one here would be Sam Worthington. So the date watched. Go to this field here. Press the space bar. I can choose the date watched. And I watched that on the 23rd of December. Let's get the schema out of the way for now. We don't need that anymore. So move that out of the way as well. Status. And I'm just going to choose from watched. Where? I saw that at the cinema. And the rating, I'm going to give it a five star because I enjoyed it. It was a good film. I'll go and see it again, in fact. So that's that there. We've uh, got that done. We can go back to this here now. So we we'll look at our movie database. Oh, yeah. One more thing we will add to this here. Let's go back into this here again. Um, go to this here. And I want to configure back to configuration again because I've missed something else. I want to put in a uh, picture. So let's um, do a new field. Click on this here and put the word image in here. It's just easier to work on it in here, isn't it? Move to schema. Okay, so this one here I think is one of the ones I want. Avatar. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drag that and drop that into this here. And that's uploading that to there. So now I can go to my movie database. And as you can see, I've got Avatar 2, Way of the Water. I can click on this here. I can see all the details for it in there. Other things you can do with this here, we can go to View. I can look at this as a list. We were looking at a list, but we've got it the list spread out. Um, but I can also go to Table. Uh, table's quite good. With the table, you can put in there what it is you want to show. Okay, so let's look at Display. And in Display, we've got Rating and Image. Okay, so because it wasn't in the the this used to find fields here, it's put it in underneath this part here. That's why it was in there. So that's uh, sorted that little problem out. And now I can see all of the uh, stuff in there. Let's just move this out of the way. So now I can see the title of the movie, which comes from the uh, the name that we give that particular document within Tana. Now what I can do as well is I can look at this as a set of cards. I was expecting to see this image a bit bigger in this one here. Okay, that's why I couldn't see this image down here as I expected to because it's not it wasn't it was expanded out to show all of it. So if I expanded that all there, that there would go into that there like so. So we've got uh, the view thing there. We can filter it as well. So let's go to the filter there, and I'm going to filter it based upon where. So I could filter it and also show only the stuff that I've seen on Netflix and then I can also sort it by status so I'll sort out and have a look at the ones that are on the list to be watched so that will turn off Avatar because I've seen that one already and I can change this here and have a look at just the ones that I've watched okay so basically that's how we set up a database movie database in Tana I quite like it it's all pretty well set up it uh, works well so this is Dave Allen, I'm Good and Geeky. If you've learned something from this video, do subscribe to the channel because there's going to be more videos like this come along. And put a like on to the video as well. Bye-bye now. Talk to you again soon.